there a way to make that all work? Yes. Uh, it's just not public yet, but I can talk to it. And uh, by the way, Billy, you know, it, it, you know, on the because, like I said, there's not many people I can learn from anymore. And I, I walked up to you after seeing your work and your presentation. I said, you have a very, very special skill in immediacy, which is a form of communication where you can put yourself in the customer's shoes, understand what they're thinking, make it very relatable and very simple, and they can absolutely relate to that then, and then, then you can reach them. I appreciate that. That is the opposite of everything I'm good at. <laughs> I had hey, we can trade skills. It took, me, it took me years to try and simulate EQ to appear human enough to be able to communicate with people. Mm. Uh, I, I only get to be myself once a month. The rest of the time, I'm I'm acting human. <laughs> well, you're doing a great job. Uh, but I just yeah, I just wanted to say that. that they, Thank you. I would appreciate that for real. I appreciate stream talent when I see it. Uh, hold on, Walter. One second. Hey, y'all heard that shit? Just say, <laughs> y'all heard that? It's okay. <laughs> Go ahead, my man. Cloning, teleportation. Modesty is lying by omission, so you're just <laughs> being radically honest. Now, um, so on teleportation, who is Billie Jean? You're not your fingers and your toes and your arms and your legs. You're, you are your consciousness and your memories. Mm. Otherwise, if you had a lung transplant, a heart transplant, two arm transplants, a leg transplant, you still think you're a Billy. So it's not stored in the rest of your body. True. So what is that? It's electrical activity running on a biological computer called the brain. It's 100 million neurons, but about two and a half petabytes of data or storage. Well, we have computers now with that kind of storage. We're almost getting there with the amount of neurons we have. Chat GPT right now is about the intelligence level of a squirrel's brain. And that might sound small, but we used to be a few years ago at the level of a housefly's brain. So that's exponentially growing quickly. It won't be long before we get to human and then surpass human, which is called singularity. Now, if I can then take what's everything that's in your brain, scan it at the neuron level, and then back it up just electrically. So it's not AI, it's not reprogramming, it's not recreating it. It's just moving what substrate it's on. That would be the same as me taking an old song off a cassette tape and moving it over to an MP3 player or onto a CD. And I didn't remake the song, I just moved it to something that doesn't expire as quickly as a cassette tape, something less fragile, which is your meat vehicle. Now, if I can upload you, we have stem cell cloning. We've had it for years. Officially, we've cloned chimpanzees. Unofficially, we've cloned humans. And we also work on aging. So telomeres is the most common manipulation of trying to slow down aging. But what if you sped it up? So what if I took your clone and grew you a 20-year-old twin brother in four years in embryonic state? And then I take the backup of your brain and consciousness and download it into him. Well, now you're 20 again. And if I do that every time you hit 30, then you live in your 20s forever. That's immortality. You had cancer, HIV, ALS, MS, or any other incurable disease. Why cure it if you can throw it away with the old body? Now, while we're waiting for that, there's workarounds. Head transplants. Cut the neck, put it on a new body, reattach it. The neck is big and fleshy with a hole in the middle, so that's easy and very large veins that can be rerouted. The difficult part is the spine. We used to think cutting the spine, severing the spine can never be repaired. Well, it turns out like most things in the human body, the spine will grow back together only over three nanometers. But we have a one nanometer laser. That's the definition of cutting it close. So if I put you in traction, electrically stimulate you, that spine will grow back. Now it'll connect different, so you'll need some physical therapy, <laughs> but your brain plasticity yeah. will be able to handle it. Hold on. <laughs> the, the interesting. Oh, hold on. Okay. Couple things there. <laughs> Billy's head. Ice cube. 
put it over here. Real thing. Like, real thing with the proper... Wow. It's been done 29 times so far, mostly on animals and chimpanzees. The first human corpse was practiced on two Christmases ago. And then the brain. If you were to do that, I guess, where do memories live? Because you mentioned, like, hey, you're just taking the electrodes or whatever in here and you just move it to a different meat skin. Like, okay, that makes sense. But, like, do, do the memories, like go with it in that case or well i'm surprised you picked memories what about soul i i was gonna say soul next but i'm like gonna, then, then it was like what the fuck is a soul like when we're talking like this right is, isn't it just memories based on core plus core values well there's one way to find out if i put your head on a new body and you're still exactly the same <laughs> it all moved it all moved with you holy smokes now all wars until this one have been caused by religion. You don't have to worry about God if you're never going to meet him. Ever. But that removes the tax-free scheme we call religions under the fear of going to hell. So it, it affects society in a few different ways. Um, now, where it gets interesting is if I upload your brain and we have the ability in a virtual world, like a metaverse, <clears throat> to simulate this world the same way where you can't tell the difference. And everything you touch, drink, eat, hug, the electrical signals from it are generated the same way. If I shake your hand, you don't feel it in your hand. Your nerves send electrical signals up through your shoulder, your spine, through your hippocampus where you recognize a handshake. So if I cut your arm off and put exactly the same signals in, you would think I'm shaking your hand. So if your brain is in the cloud and I simulate those electrical signals accurately, which I could do using something like chat GPT, because I've recorded them all, <laughs> then you wouldn't know that you're in your own simulation. <laughs> that allows you then to do all kinds of things, because what if we all had our own simulation? So you could remove anyone you don't want. If you have traumatic memories, you remove that. If I copy your brain and delete your memories, is that your son? <laughs> if I upload you once and download you five times into five clones, ten minutes later, which one's the real Billy? If you send a clone on vacation and he comes back and you merge it with your brain that's been working, did you get the benefit of a vacation? If we back up that server to the Mars rover, which takes seven minutes to synchronize, then when this planet inevitably gets hit by an asteroid, we don't go the way of the dinosaurs. And we can use, we're backed up off planet, and we can use nanotech to come back. And we can travel to Mars or anywhere else at the speed of light. So in teleportation, imagine then you could call Hertz rent a body in New York, rent the George Clooney special, email your brain file to New York over fiber optic lines. <laughs> And wake up in New York. You just have a different meat vehicle. Wow. And we thought filters were bad. Now you just fucking print out a new body. I, <laughs> you know, well, you could also be Angelina Jolie instead if you want to have more fun. But, <laughs> <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, as you guys, I told y'all I was excited to have this conversation, and I. Uh, <laughs> without further ado, clap it up. And remember, he can't hear you, so I want you to wave like this and make some noise for the man, the myth, the legend, the scorpion, Walter.